What is the takeaway from this week, Rob DeMoss? Well, you know, in part it's business as usual, right, Rich? Because none of us expected Aaron Rodgers to be here, and of course he's not. And and it's business as usual in the sense that we were going to scrutinize everything Jordan Love did because this is really the first chance we've seen him to be QB1. And Tuesday was a pretty much a complete and utter disaster, and yesterday he was in the Hall of Fame. So, like, <laughs> somewhere in the middle – Today, you know, we'll see what he does uh, when they go to team periods here in about a half hour, 45 minutes. So, uh, but I can tell you, I will be charting every throw just like I have the last couple of days. And then people will mock me on Twitter for saying it's practice in helmets and shorts in June and uh, no one's hitting anyone, which is all true. Every bit of that is true. But it is, again, the first time that we're seeing somebody who, based yeah. on the tea leaves potentially being red. Right. Uh, and, with and writing it, on the wall, you know, yeah. could be the guy. Well, in really New Orleans. interesting. Okay, this is my 25th year covering this team, and for 24 years, they've done quarterback reps one way in Green Bay. Whether it's been Mike Holmgren, Ray Rhodes, Mike Sherman, Mike McCarthy, or Matt Lafleur last year, they always do it the same way. The starter gets the first four or five reps, then the backup gets the next three or four reps, then the third stringer gets the next two or three reps that horn by the way is signaling the end of the special teams period very good that. appreciate um, that. and and then if there's a fourth quarterback maybe he gets a rep or two however this week jordan love when they go to a team period takes every single rep on mm-hmm. tuesday yeah. at one point he took 16 straight snaps okay yesterday his longest uh, period was 11 straight snaps and then blake bortles came in and got like two or three and then uh, Kirk Benkert, who's their other quarterback in camp, got like one handoff. So I've never seen them in my 25 years of doing this, and I would assume um, this is not you know the norm at other places around the league either, of having one quarterback take 10, 12, 14, 16 straight snaps. That tells you that it, they are crash-coursing Jordan Love right now to get him ready just in case. Yeah, they have to. I mean, especially since, yeah. you know, you, you, you know, in, in your 25 years, you've also, just like the rest of us, have never seen an entire season where somebody could get some reps, um, didn't, because there was a pandemic. Yes. So, no I mean. No question. The, and, and, and that plays a factor in it. But obviously, if Aaron Rodgers were here, yeah. uh, the reps would be divided so much differently, and it would probably be a more traditional Uh, rep count Um, you know even when even those years when Brett Favre would skip minicamp the last couple years of Mike Sherman they would excuse him and Aaron Rodgers was a rookie and a second year guy they still didn't do the reps this way Um, so I I just think it's incredible to watch the workload Uh, I went back and looked at my notes last year from training camp and Jordan Love threw about 55 passes in team periods over the what was it about a three-week training camp last year if I remember right he threw 55 passes in 11 on 11 drills. I'm not talking about the stuff where they're working, throwing into the nets off the side. I'm talking 11 on 11 football. In the last two days, he's thrown 51 uh, passes. Uh, so basically, all of his work in the last two days is equal to what he did the entire training camp last year. Rob Domofsky of ESPN, uh, ESPN NFL Nation reporter there in Green Bay, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. And Jordan loves media availability. I, I thought he handled himself uh, very well. I thought it's just what a tough spot for him. And the the, the soundbite that everyone's talking about is him saying he's a hundred percent going to be yeah. ready for week one, as if he's going to say I'm also you know a hundred percent ready to soil myself. Yeah, like I'm I'm fifty I'm fifty. I'm not quite sure. You yet, know, I mean, like that would have been the soundbite. But to me, what he said a few lines after that is what jumped out at me. Him saying like he was brought here to play quarterback, and I'm like, yeah. yes. That's yeah. the point. That's the whole deal. Yeah. So what? What is? What, what are you hearing? What are you and your colleagues talking about? Maybe pulling somebody from the the Packers uh, organization aside. What? What is the scuttlebutt, if you will, of what's uh, at this at this facility? Yeah, when you when you stand on the sidelines of practice and the the scouts uh, and the assistant coaches walk by, you know, you always try to grab a minute or two of their time. And and I would say. You know, the last couple of weeks during mini camp, I'm sorry, during OTAs, you know, the guys were a little concerned about, you know, love. And, and you know, one, one guy kind of smirked and said, well, you know, Aaron Rodgers is probably uh, liking this if he could see it because he loved was struggling. And then yesterday, man, when he got hot and started throwing 
dimes down the field and everybody's sort of mood changed and the energy at practice was, you know, it reminded me of a training camp practice where Rogers would carve up the defense and, and, you know, that's sort of what happened yesterday. It just sort of energized the whole thing. And, mm. you know, just reading body language yesterday on the sidelines, it, it, it sure looked like there was a, okay, this is what, this is why they drafted this guy. This is what we saw, um, you know, in college, especially his, uh, not as necessarily his last year where he struggled a little bit, but his second to last year where, you know, he was outstanding. I, I think there was that belief yesterday that, oh, I get it now, that, that kind of thing. You know, Rich, when it's sort of, you see something that you've heard about but haven't really seen in person, and now you see it, and you just go, oh, okay, I get it now. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.